fans, and welcome. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks going up against the Atlanta Braves. First pitch coming your way next. Top of the second, and now the first baseman, Miguel Sano. The first baseman, number 22, Miguel Sano. Right, back to work. Hard hit, left side. Tejada, jump throw. And a quick out, number one. That is it. The left fielder, number seven, Corbin Carroll. Seeing an impressive jump throw from the hole at short. Let's see what StatCast has to say. Now he's just showing off out there. I mean, I don't know if fans realize how much arm strength you need to make that throw. This guy's got a rocket of an arm, and that was on full display right there. Just an awesome job. So two on with two away. Now up next for Arizona, Everson yeah. Pereira. Second inning here, no score. Gotta hold him, let's go. On the ground. Throw on to Olsen. That's the third out. Diamondback strand a pair. We'll go to the bottom of the second, no score. One down. Now in for the Braves. King Tejada. Homered last night. Added another hit as well. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports. Basketball, football. You feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. And first offering is fouled off. Hey, keep swinging that hot bat, huh? Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss, and he waves at that one. Gary Simmons has the plate duty in this one. Well, with Simmons, it's not always your standard strike zone boog. It kind of gives a little extra in some parts of the zone and then can be tighter in others. But I think the important thing is he doesn't get labeled as inconsistent, so you got to stay ready up there. And that keeps his hitting streak going. He's making this look way easier than it is, Boog. Setting the record is hard at all, but to keep upping it every day like he is, I don't really know what to say anymore. At this point, it honestly feels like it's never going to end. Absolutely remarkable. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Runner on the goal. Throw to second, great jump, and that is a stolen base. It wasn't even close. You know what? I like the aggressiveness right there. It looks like it's going to be tough to score in this one. Really good pitching so far, so why not try to put some pressure on them and see if you can steal the bag, get in the scoring position. The 3-1, and there's ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something it's been part of his Batting career in. since day the one. Second baseman. Ozzie. So one out with two aboard. Oh, so now to the plate for Atlanta. Ozzy Albies. Two hits for him in yesterday's game. Right, He's been We're such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. The pitch. They say it went. One ball. He goes down looking. Well, he throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling when you think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that called third strike. Matt Olson up to the plate. Here's a 1-1. Good eye right there. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. The 2-1. And that one is lifted in the air. Carroll moves towards it. 
Brings it in. And that's the inning. Two left for Atlanta. We'll move to the third with no score. Yandy Diaz the now. Agent, number two. Definitely wants to stay Yandy out of the double play here. Ball Diaz. on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. Here we go, guys. On the ground a second, might be two. There's one. Over to first, safe. Two outs, runner at first. O'Neill Cruz stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Sneaks through, base hit. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. And next for Atlanta, no King Tejada. Scoreless here, but now Three. he's got to deal with a guy oh who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. That one fouled off. Come on, big guy. Swing and a deep drive. This one's got a chance. Way back there. And boom goes the dynamite. He blasts one out to right. His 64th home run of the season. And they grab the lead. It's 1-0. the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark you want to bottle that type of approach man at first with one gone here's a speed threat O'Neill Cruz one for two O'Neill Cruz 2-2 two -two now Hit on the ground, might be two. Fired to second. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make now the pitch, it. get the, the ground ball. Base. Excellent piece of work. So base is loaded with That's one away. Style. King yeah. Tejada right, digs in now. He's already homered in this game. You talk about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up making his way through the minor leagues and quickly at this level an impact player well all eyes on the double play ball in this spot no better way to get out of this inning here comes the 0-1 up the middle dives and he can't hang on he decides to eat it and they get a run at home Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Brandon Fack won't go any further, and he's not going to be happy with himself. New pitcher on the mound in a moment. So out of the pen for the Diamondbacks, Luis Frias. He has a great slider with tons of movement. So digging in, Kyle Schwarber. And Boog, I'd say he's due. Well, there's a reason why he's at the bottom of the order, struggling as of late. But a knock here would be a huge lift for him and for his team. 1-1 one, one now. And that one fouled off. Chris Kyle Schwarber, a guy with prodigious power. He's made a couple all-star teams, won a silver slugger. An Ohio kid who played his college ball at Indiana. He's one of the better power hitters in the sport. Two, two. That one ripped. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. Runner tagging from third. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Base runner decided to test him, and it was a bad decision. 
And now the shortstop, King Tejada. He's already homered here in this one. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. On the ground, a short could be two. Cruz tossed to second. What a double play that was. Yandy Diaz now at the plate. One for three. Hey, we got nobody. On the ground, a first. Olsen flips it. That's one. A 3 6 1 double play. The 3-6-1 double play, in my opinion, is one of the toughest plays to make. You've got a pitcher covering first, and the middle infielder throwing to a moving target. Everything has to be perfect, and right there, they made it look pretty easy. Well, you win this one 4 to nothing, and it feels like you could have exploded for more offensively, but you also realize that at times it was hard to score. So you get out of here feeling good about this win. Ultimately, there was great pitching and defense to keep that other team off the board. You always feel good about a win like this. A 4-0 shutout in this one.